All right, and now we are Google on four and four is Miss Tylea. Congratulations, Ty. All right. Oh, that's a big ass thing. I have to what? walk into another room here. Is it recording? <laughs> I know, I I was, was recording. I was, I was Thank you, Luna, for that. Mm, mm, mm. Whoever's in the background mm, noise, please mm. mute yourself oh, out. You can also mute everybody. Hey, Anna, you can you can <laughs> you can mute them. I take some okay. shots for them. Okay. And doing that, how do I do that again? So uh, go back to participants, and there'll be a mute uh -huh. next to their name. Or you hit their microphone. Click on their microphone, and we'll mute them. Don't be okay. muting me. <laughs> you could also hit mute all at the bottom, and then unmute, and then go and unmute people you Okay. Unmute. Just mm. don't mute me. <laughs> Let's see here. Can they unmute themselves? Yes, you can unmute yourselves. Okay. So those who know how to do that, unmute themselves. If there's no sound. Okay. All righty. Sorry about that. Okay, we're all back. So oh. I want to welcome everyone. Those who know how to unmute themselves can unmute themselves by hitting them a little microphone button. But um, but anyway, I started talking earlier as I'm talking, and there's music, there's what there's uh, noise in the background here. But um, I just wanted to welcome everyone uh, from the team. We have some people that have transitioned over from the previous company. We have some new people as well on the uh, on the team. And I was just sharing with them. I shared with a couple people earlier. I've had some one-on-ones with most people. And just kind of shared with them what what you know what transition that we're going through and where the vision is. So I wanted with the vision with the new company and, the, and mostly the new team. So um, I, I put this together right quick to share with some folks. I wanted folks to be able to meet who we'd be actually working with. Leonard and I have a past. We've, been, we've known each other for probably about three to four years now yeah, or so. And <laughs> yeah, we worked together at a nine to five in the past, right? And, um, and but he always had that entrepreneur spirit. And so we, we met up again. He, he left the job I was working with, um, with him at. And we met up again by that, that infamous phone call. And, um, and then that's, you know, recently over the last five months or so, I reached out to him. He was already trading um, with a group of phenomenal traders. And uh, so I would call him every now and then when I need that little extra support and say, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? He was kind enough to help. But at the same time, now, now fast forward, we, now we get a chance to work together. So I'm excited about the team. I participated just a few days ago within the last week um, with the transition journey over. I got a chance to meet some of the team members, kind of seeing what they're putting together. And I really like it. So I've been sharing, um, sharing the culture with the team, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I wanted everyone to kind of meet and be able to make up, make their own decision. But at the same time, at the end of the day, we're, we're all here to, um, to make money, help our families and learn this new skill. And I looked at, you know, just kind of what was happening over here and said, this is going to be a better fit for those who want every part of the package, not just a part of the package. But, but learning that skill. So, um, so Leonard, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, hey everybody, my name is Leonard. Uh, some people call me Leo. Uh, long story short, just to give you a bit of my history. Like I said, I worked with Ayana back in the past. We worked at a car dealership together back a few years ago. Um, I ended up leaving that. Uh, I ended up becoming a teacher. I'm still a first grade teacher. I love teaching. And then I'm also a martial art coach. And you know, when COVID came in, I lost a significant amount of my income from all the coaching I was doing around three grand a month. I went out, decided to met a few, talk to a few of my friends, decided to try and find new ways to make income. We landed on trading, uh, started making a little bit of extra money trading, and then decided to, you know, use these different online tools and companies to kind of like help me learn as well, but also expanded out to a larger group of my friends. And so we made the Forever Focus Group, which is a group both, um, with our mission, as you say, is like a thought process is that when you're staying focused, like completely focused on a particular goal, past like whatever struggles or difficulties you may have, especially when it comes to something like trading, at the end of the day, you're gonna become successful in it. Okay? It's just a skill set that you have to learn, that you have to master, that you have to get the psychology of with yourself. And once you figure all that out, you can be successful. 
And so that's how we kind of formed Forever Focus. And since then, it's grown substantially. And we have some great leaders on the team, some great traders on the team. Uh, Curve is on here, who is, dude, is like the guy who's best trader I personally know, like as a consider as a personal friend. So he's on here for you guys. We have some phenomenal leaders. Justin just hopped on. Phenomenal leader Jacqueline has come in, stepped up, and she's shown a huge level of leadership that forced me to step up along the way. So we're here to help you. We have your back, both on the trading side and the building side. We're 100% here to help you out as much as possible. And also building a strong online community of just people who have similar visions, who can find a place to come together, talk, and, you know, share. Oh, and Greg's hopping on, who also is one of our better traders. So there he is. Greg just on. What's up? What's up? What's up, Greg? Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> so, uh, so awesome. Yeah. Let's shoot it over to Curve real quick. Curve, introduce yourself. We'll go in the order of people on the screen. Okay. Oh, I started getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was listening to music. How's everybody doing today? Good morning. Um, afternoon awesome. for people in the East Coast, I believe. Uh, my name is Curvin. People call me Curve. Um, I got introduced to trading five years ago, but I actually been consistently trading for the past two years. I became profitable myself a year and like eight months ago now. Um, every day I'm on the charts, even on the weekends. Uh, I truly do believe if you, if you're very resilient, uh, you can really master trading. It's all about patience and, and knowing and understanding the basics and knowing where price can possibly go. Um, most people, they just overthink it. They look at the charts and they're like, oh, what the heck does this, all this means? And it's, their brain just gets tired already. I don't know how, but that's just some way of people thinking but do not get discouraged i've seen someone with literally that graduated um high school with a 1.2 gpa and they're millionaires just off of trading you know anybody can do this if you stick with it um yeah man there's many different people on this team that can trade i i really like the um the group that we're in right now when it comes to epic because i met the group of traders i met some of the high level um the high level, high level leaders like uh, David Lenciaga and all those people, they really are concerned with the customers. They want to make sure that people that are utilizing the products get the best security, get the best of everything. Hence the reason why we switch companies, right? Um, and that's the reason why I follow along wherever the money goes or wherever the genuine integrity and the money goes, that's where I'm going to be at, right? That's just, that's just my belief. Um, so I would just say this, don't give up, man. Don't give up. Don't like trading is something that can pay you forever without you having to talk to nobody. You can be feeling like crap for like a whole year and just stay focused on trading. You know, um, it's literally 80% psychology. Just believe in yourself and you will be successful based off of your work ethic. I, I can't guarantee it. it's only based off of your work ethic. Right. Um, so the main things that I really love about this group that they do prepare for, like they do help you with when it comes to trading is the fact that as you're building your team, you're actually learning more psychology. So you can be, so you're, you know, um, you can handle your, your mental health and handle everything that you need to around you. It's not just, they're not just, this team is not just preparing you for trading or building. It's they're literally preparing you for life in general, you know, life tips, things that you can utilize in every area of your life. Right. Um, I've learned a lot from here and, you know, you guys, and these are, this is just psychology tips and they're, they're not even traders yet. And they're teaching me stuff about myself that I need to grasp myself, right? For me to reach the next level, which is, for me is seven figures. That's where I really want to go, seven figures. Uh, really help and donate to countries. My family's from Haiti. So I come from a, I can give a crap less about money. I just want happiness for everybody and peace. You know, I come from a place where uh, we'll take a metal bowl and no, no, no spoon, no nothing. Just eat with your hands and we'll share that bowl with everybody in our family. So this is why I really like this atmosphere. It gives me that family atmosphere. Um, I talk to Leonard. I talk to Justin all the time. Leonard, like almost every day. This is a whole new haircut for him. His head looks a lot better. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. I got it done yesterday. I'm just kidding, man. You look handsome, bro. No, you know what I'm saying? But um, guys, don't don't take this for granted um ask questions closed mouths do not get fed if you guys are lost hit up any one of us um yeah and you guys shall be successful if you guys keep going at it man the, one of my favorite lines that jay said it's very simple it's not oh my god it's just 
the reason why I made it to where I made it was because I never gave up. My favorite line. So yeah. Now let's let's give it to the the Justin Izaki. <laughs> Izaki. Oh, Justin. Yeah, Izaki. Oh, Justin. What's up, guys? What's up? Sorry, I'm a little late to the party here. Um, I had to get my morning workout and. The gyms in California are ridiculous. It took me 30 minutes to wait in line to get in. Wow. That's so, yeah. And that wasn't even that bad compared to the line after when I left the gym. I was at least an hour and a half wait to get in the gym. I was like, man, what is this, a club? <laughs> <laughs> um, but appreciate everyone's time. Thank you for taking this time on this holiday to uh, hop on this call. Um, and as far as, you know, uh, welcome. Welcome to the fam. Um, you have a life-changing opportunity right in your hands and uh, on your screen with us here with the Forever Focus Group. Um, I'm kind of a new addition to the Forever Focus Group family as well. And, you know, one of the main things that I love about this group, guys, is the group. Sorry. In general, the family atmosphere, the, the positive energy, the boosting, you know, everyone up, trying to help each other grow as individuals and as a team together, you know, so... Um, I've been trading since about 20, since 2016, um, and also been building network marketing businesses in the past since 2014. So a little experience in both. Um, I still consider myself a student to both of them, even though I have seen some pretty good success, we'll say that. Um, so as far as for like, you know, what we have going on, um, as far as the opportunity wise, guys, we have the chance to not only just help ourselves, but help a lot of people who are you know struggling who may be struggling worse than us you know and i consider it a blessing to be able to you know start a conversation with someone and you know be able to find out that i have something that can help them out you know um a lot of people nowadays especially with the pandemic and all that stuff um, has affected them very crucially very very intensely where you know some people have lost jobs or they're not sure they're going to lose their job or they're not yeah, sure they're going to lose their job. With the... I know, but I just used it for your hair too and I moved it and said... Uh -oh. Wait, go, be honest. I moved it and said... Just stick it in the hair. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I didn't pass the... I don't pass the... What's the... Ayana, hey, just meet her. Black, <laughs> I got muted. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, there you go. Bring yourself back in. Tag yourself back in. No worries. No worries. <laughs> well, opportunities we have, guys, you have two, basically two different, you know, tremendous opportunities that can definitely provide extra income. You know, um, with Forex, it's the more you learn, the more you earn. The more you study, the more money. You know, um, when it comes to the practice, you know, I consider simply sharing the opportunity with people. You know, I'm not selling anybody here on this call, you know, why this is so great. I'm just stating the facts and telling you my story. My story was, you know, I used to work and uh, live and work in Las Vegas uh, for the nightlife entertainment industry. Well, I still had my other businesses, you know, residual income and trading and kind of in the back burner, you know, for, I guess you could say a rainy day, such as when the pandemic hit, you know, but when the pandemic hit, it really put things in perspective to me of, you know, nothing is secure these days unless we make it secure ourselves. You know, we take control of our lives and we can take control of, of whatever situations we can control. So. I reached out to a friend. I saw one of their posts on, I believe it was uh, Facebook. And I saw that he got into trading again, trading Forex again. And, you know, I was just like, dang, you know, I need to get back into that, you know, because I hit, I had contacted him and I found out that, you know, he wasn't even affected really by uh, the COVID and all that stuff for two reasons. He has, uh, he has uh, network marketing businesses that he earns residual income that were still flowing. And also he had trading. So he had the option for the availability of extra income whenever he wanted to jump in the markets, you know, because he had learned how to trade properly and efficiently and profitable. So I contacted him um, and told him that, hey man, like I'm trying to get back into trading. You know, what else you got going on? And, you know, uh, long story short, I got introduced to Leonard. I got introduced to Curb, Greg, Jacqueline. Um, and it's been a magnificent, amazing blessing in disguise, you know. Um, I kind of thought, you know, I was like, what am I supposed to do now? You know, and from there <laughs> to, hey, what's next? Who else can we help with this? You know, um, in the last couple months since the pandemic hit with the educational platforms we've been using, um, I've actually been able to help people be able to leave their jobs comfortably because they've been able to make a full time income from trading. And also to other people have been able to expand, you know, their 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 income through the network marketing MLM side of it by, you know, building a team and helping those people out as well. You know, so just taking into the fact guys, you know, you 
tried many things before in the past. If you haven't tried training before, why not? It's something out there that's available to you. It's the most hidden kind of gem in the financial world. You know, every successful business owner, millionaire, billionaire, you know, even just six figure earner has some kind of portfolio fund manager for stocks, cryptocurrencies, Forex trading, you know, the banks even use it as well. You know, so I figured, hey, if they're doing it, why not us? You know, why not me? Why can't I access that market and be able to capitalize and, you know, make money from my phone or wherever I'm at, if I'm traveling, if I want to take a vacation um, and not worry about how much I could spend. I've actually gone on vacation and actually made <laughs> more than I spent. And that was like, very surprising to the people I was around. And now those people are, that were on vacation with me are now involved with us. Um, so, oh, Justin, I need to talk to you. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's basically, you know, my story in a nutshell, guys. You know, take this opportunity and, you know, really run with it. You know, try something new. You know, the old ways may not have been working. So I believe everything happens for a reason. You're on this call for a reason at this time with these people that are involved with us. And, you know, I hope you guys lock arms with us and. Letting you know, my line is open 24 uh, seven. And you could literally ask that. I had to call at 4 a.m. this morning. Um, <laughs> and I'll <was> up. <laughs> and uh, we actually are gonna be getting someone started in uh, Nigeria, another team in Nigeria. So that's crazy. Being able to use this thing right here in front of us to help connect with people all over the world who are looking for something. Uh, people are looking for other ways to make income. You know, a lot of jobs these days are switching to that work at home opportunity because they have to. You know, business keeps going, life goes on. So I appreciate all of you guys for taking the time. I appreciate every single one of you for looking into this. You know, I hope you decide to lock arms with us, partner up, become part of the family, and just know you're not alone in this. We got you guys and ladies. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Justin. No That's problem. what this is about. Love the culture. I think who else do we have there? Greg, we have Greg there, then Jacqueline. Can you say hi, Greg, the pilot? Hey, what's going on, Ayana? Absolutely. So, hi, everyone. My name is Greg McLean. Um, I'm living up here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Might be in a bad area. <laughs> you're, having, you're having some issues. Airline. Reduced to Forex just April. Oh, man. Yeah, we're out in the middle of nowhere. I, I can probably show you. The middle of nowhere, um, uh, Indiana. So like, there's literally nothing around here. <laughs> so me, me and a buddy of mine from uh, flight school, we are headed out to a state park and going on a, a six, seven mile hike. It's April oh, wow. 17th, and is it bad? It, 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 all right, Leonard, take, take it away from me. Introduce the next person. I'll come back in later. <laughs> all right, all right, just because of, his tech issues are going to move on. Let's, let's have Jacqueline uh, tell her story. She has been someone, let me just say, who really forced everybody in the group to kind of step it up another level. So go ahead and tell them your story. Hello, there. everyone. Hi, my name Hi, is Jacqueline. Hi. My name is Jacqueline Lanning. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I currently live in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I worked in the film industry for 13 years, and I eventually became a prop master and which was the top position in my union and and just to let you know a little bit there's not that many female prop masters so it was a it was a quite an accomplishment um but once i got there once i got into that position and i had that lifestyle i realized that it was much better than any of the positions i had had before i still wasn't i i came to the conclusion that i still wasn't gonna be able to make pension i still wasn't gonna ever make enough to buy a house and in LA and um, like I wasn't gonna be able to achieve my goals and dreams in, in that industry. So I sold everything and got rid of my company and, and moved to Mexico without any plan. And once I got settled here and went to the beach and made some friends, I eventually was starting to go on job interviews and then COVID came and all the interviews went away and, and one of them even ended in like, oh, I'm quarantining and I'm leaving. So. <laughs> So then, um, then I, through different um, suggestions and learning about Forex a little bit, I found the Forever Focus Group, and here I am with all of you. And it's such a great thing because um, not only do we have the education that we're going to get from Epic 
And, but we also have this team. We have this forever focused team, which is completely separate from the company. And there's so much value in this group because there's so much experience um, in MLM, in trading, in, and then in business and, and um, self-improvement. That's a huge topic of our, of our conversations and, and of our meetings. And I just got off the, f- the phone with a friend of mine in France, and he is a really great uh, online business man and he coaches other people how to market themselves and stuff like that and he was saying in this kind of environment you can really learn how to become the kind of person that you want to be and how great that is and we have so many people that have so so much diverse experience and knowledge that there's they're really genuinely and generously willing to give that if you want to be successful you have a plethora of resources at your available all you have to do is show up all you have to do is come to the meetings. All you have to do is apply yourself and do what you're instructed to do, like take the courses in the order that you're, you're um, suggested, read the books that are suggested, do the things that are suggested to you, and there's no way you're going to fail. Um, and even with the, the risk management, you're taught ways to learn how to trade where you don't actually um, do anything that's detrimental to your financial circumstances. So, and it's built, like everything that is built in, in not only Epic, but in Forever Focus Group for you to come together because we're like-minded. We all have a different vision. Like, even if I could go back to my job, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I like, I want to have something that is mine and something that I can help people with. And that's the other part that drew me into this is because during the summer, I was not only worried about my own financial circumstances, but when other people would share with me their distresses, I had nothing to offer them. And now I do. Now when someone says to me, Hey, I'm worried about this. Like I ran out of money or my savings is gone and, and my job has gone away or whatever. I can offer them something that they can, they can, not only benefit them immediately, but can, uh, and over time with like building teams, but benefit their entire rest of their life by learning this, this skill. So I'm super excited to have you all here and to meet you. And I highly recommend like joining the meetings as often as you can, because every single one has another piece of a bit of information and knowledge. And even in um, like get to know the the people on your team here, get to know all of these people because you're going to become each other's support. And so I would highly recommend like putting your phone numbers in the chat. I'm going to put mine in there too. Mm -hmm. And if you ever need anything, if I'm not available, Greg will be, Leonard will be, Kerr will be, someone on your team will be available and will have the knowledge that you need. So welcome and thank you. And and thanks for having me on this meeting, Ayana. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for, I mean, just just being you. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I can't wait to meet you in person one of these days coming up. Yay. So. <laughs> You're going to come down here. Yes. You're going to yes. come down here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, thanks again, everybody um, on the line. I want to now kind of like open it up to anyone um, new on, that's new on the team or that transitioned over. If you guys have any questions, I see the phone numbers popping up. So make sure you're taking down the phone numbers. Thanks to Nona, this call was being recorded. Thanks again. <laughs> thanks again for that, Nona. Um, does anyone have any questions that knows how to uh, unmute themselves individually and bring themselves in? Does anyone have anything to say out there? To unmute yourself, all you have to do is click the microphone button. Yep, just click the microphone button, guys. Hey, we have another. Oh, hold on one second. I have to change my earbuds. How's this? Is this a little bit better for you guys? Yes, that's better, Greg. All right, I just want to say hi. Uh, I'm not really going to share my story because I don't have that many bars uh, of service and I don't want to break up again. But I just wanted to say hi to everybody. I included my phone number in the chat. If you'd like, reach out. I can tell you my story on how I got into trading. You know, it was just April 17th and I'm in school to be a commercial airline pilot. So if you want to hear that story, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm here. If you need a helping hand, you know, 
like Jacqueline said, we are a team. Uh, we're coming together. We're, we're becoming a family. Uh, and, and that's who we are before we are a company. We're a team and a family growing together, just using Epic as a vehicle to get us to where we want to be in our life and our family's life. So, yeah, feel free to reach out. Love you guys. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Have you. Another Thank you. We, yeah, we have another Pablo just came on. So that's. Hey, Pablo. Hello, how are you? I'm hey, sorry I just jumped right now. That's okay. <laughs> Come on in. Join We're just party. trying to build so strong the, the Spanish uh, team. And I was talking yeah. with one of those guys and tried to encourage him that he's a really good leader and that, that he can totally do it. I froze again. Here, just really excited to, to do this with you guys. And I want to offer to you help anytime that you need it. And we're open all the day. We have obviously kind of normal people stuff to do, but as soon as we have uh, the opportunity, we go back, we write you back or we can make a Zoom meeting and we can describe what we know in the way that we know. And if we don't know it, we can ask someone that we, we're sure that they know it, basically. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Pablo. Thank you, you so much. Really. They're both down there in Mexico, you guys. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask also, I know I, I know I talked with Leonard before, and Leonard, can you share? I know that the, the company Epic itself has the um, three live trade sessions daily, and yes. they have the opportunity calls. How, uh, you know, how important it is. I know we've mentioned on here about showing up to the meetings, but because I've been sending things out, making sure people are joining all the, all the different, uh, you know, the, the, the Facebook chats and the, the yeah. telegrams and now the discord, how important that is. Can you share with that? And then also talk about the live trading calls and sessions and maybe tutoring us so that we will have as an, as a team, the forever focus yeah, group. Yeah. De definitely. Definitely. So, uh, one thing I want to hit is when it comes to network marketing in general or really any skill, like 80% of it is just showing up and actually doing the very, very baseline work. So just showing up to the five o'clock, especially say you don't want to go on every single opportunity call. I can understand that they're get repetitive after a while. It's a lot of the same stuff. Um, but coming to those also is a great way to get a new way to explain something. So if you're looking to learn how to explain it to other people yourself, being on consistent opportunity calls will teach you that skill. It'll teach you how to talk about it. Um, on top of that, getting on our five o'clock calls, we're going to have, which has consistent, not just mindset mastery, kind of psychology stuff, but has a lot of uh, actual marketing advice. We had one, what to me was mind blowing because I, I am an old school marketer. I do everything face to face. I, until COVID, I never did a Zoom call when I built past businesses. It was all, let's go to the coffee shop. And these guys broke down how to market through Facebook. And I'm telling you, it's, it was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> like, it was amazing. It changed my whole game up. And so just like we, we give actual practical knowledge during those calls. Also, Greg, who I don't know if he's still on. I think we might have lost him due to service. But Greg is hosting a open to everyone. Like not even just team members, just open to all people um psychology like i don't know how to how to really explain jacqueline would probably explain it better than me because i sadly wasn't able to make the last one but it's like an open jacqueline do you want to explain it he's calling it um i think we decided to call it like a mindset motivation motivation yeah, yeah. mindset motivation and it's um it's monday wednesday and friday at um 11 a.m eastern time and That's another thing you're going to have to become used to. We're all in different time zones, so we got to pay attention to the the, the time, time zones. The that time was my zone. hardest part. Yeah. So 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um. So, oh, it's sorry. It's Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah. And, and yeah, he just goes over stuff to really help motivate you in life in general, and just keep you at a higher vibration just in general. And that's really that's open to everybody. Like even if say you have a friend who's not in the business, but thinks, you know, they could really take something positive from this. They can hop on the Zoom call with us. Mm -hmm. And so it's really just meant to be that solid kind of community. Um, mm -hmm. On top of that, locking in to our trading calls, the live trading calls from the company, 
this really should be curve breaking it down. He's like I say, he's the best trader, but <laughs> he's like, <laughs> my, um, my, I'm like, I have two other screens over no, here. It's fine. I know you're probably oh, trading your something on the side. It's good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like just understanding the psychology of how high level traders trade, how they take what you're going to be learning and actually put it into practice. It's great to be able to visually see that and visually learn from that. And so locking in to those live sessions is probably even more important. Like it's probably the most important thing you can do is locking into those live trading sessions when it comes to actually learning how to trade. And on top of that, we're working on establishing set times throughout the week. We had them before in the previous company, but we're reestablishing it where new people can hop in. Jesus will probably be doing a, a new member breakdown of all the trading stuff that you need to do to kind of walk you through a lot of the basics. Curve does curve and a couple of his guys do a lot of um, smaller little group sessions of conversations and talking about trading and stuff like that. So we give a lot of extra support on top of just what the company is giving you. We have our own sessions through Forever Fake Focused where we sit down and kind of make sure everyone learns to trade fully. And right now during this month, because it's only $20 and we're really pushing that building, every meeting we're having is so building based and it honestly it's weird because i i'm i usually don't build i mean i usually don't usually i i'm so much more product like if you saw us in the previous company it was mostly stuff about trading and our personal development and right now we're very focused on building but i promise you as we go forward all of the extra credit trading stuff all of the mindset stuff there's going to be more and more and more right now the mindset's pretty much caught up we have some solid mind stuff now we have that five o'clock and then we also have greg three times a week we have some solid mindset um, and you know the you know it's another thing they just added bro they added study hall now like all that like like i don't even have to one on one with people no more this is lit <laughs> i mean i don't mind study hall but the fact that they're doing study hall meaning basically that's what i would do basically i would study one-on-one -on -one with people but now they're going to have one designated person that get paid for it. Thank God. But I'm, 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 happy, to teach people. I'm happy to teach people. I'm not going to lie. I'm just, I'm just a little excited. I get a little bit of time back, guys. So that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, we have. Just the fact that a company is doing a study hall, like, like they're literally college is amazing to me. I'm going to be so honest and very creative. No, so, yeah, that's, I love that. I love that. Um, and no offense that. to no other ethnic group, but once they, once I see those black owned baby, I was in it. I was like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, man, just have fun with it. One thing that I learned with everything that you do in life, I'm very goal orientated. So I've done other things. I've uh, people. Okay. First things first. A lot of people has been passing around that I've made six figures through training. I have not done that yet. I've gotten close, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I've made six figures when I was 21 through a whole different business, which is email, which is eBay, uh, like buying and reselling stuff, basically, right? I've done that. Um, in everything in life, find the fun in it. Everything. Find the fun in what you're doing. The whole point, like, we're adults now, right? But at the end of the day, we're just children. We're spiritual children living life as an adult, right? So most of us, when we're young, we get our innocence taken from us, right? And that's when it's harder for us to manifest exactly what, you, what we want, right? If anybody have ever read the Bible, it says that people, the people with childlike hearts or childlike minds are the ones to make it to the uh, gates of heaven first, right? Just, and this is, sorry if um, you're not religious or anything. I'm just giving an example, right? No but, way. Go at everything with a childlike mind or heart. And I tell people this all the time because it's just like when we were kids, we weren't we weren't building go-karts or we weren't um what's something that we were doing? Uh we weren't doing work, we weren't doing group-like activities for money. We we're doing it to enjoy the moment, to enjoy our lifestyle, right? So why don't we still apply this to our everyday life now? Why don't we have fun while we are achieving our goals. Be like children. And then the time that we think like five, if it took someone two years, if you're having fun during those two years while you're doing what you're doing, it won't feel like it. So just instead of complaining about the work that must be done or anything, just be grateful that we're here today. 
Be grateful that you have the ability to learn. Be grateful that you have the community around you. And be grateful that this, that this is the type of community that will actually protect the child likeness within you. Most other communities will use, abuse you, and do so much corporate stuff that you will just say, forget this. I don't want to do this stuff, right? So I'm really grateful for the community, to be honest. Um, and then the study halls. Lord. All right. I'm just kidding. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to add something to that curve, can I? Yeah, go ahead, man. Like, Jacqueline and I, we're, we're really dreaming, and it's our close goal, like a short-time goal, that is create communities. Basically, take people from the normal life, from the this kind of uh, matrix. I don't know how to describe it better. No, you said and, it right, matrix, yeah. <laughs> and start to, like, learn how to produce your own food, clean your own water, don't make that much trash. And what I want to tell you guys is that with all of this time that we're learning how to do it, which things are more important than other ones, we are hearing from leaders that they do it before and it didn't work and they describe it to you why and which things are more important. And one is what we're doing that is take care of the back of the other person. I got your back. Everyone got the back of the other person and your back is gonna be safe and it's gonna be supported. And I think this is kind of the base of what we're doing and is whoever who need help, sometimes I don't have the idea what is the answer, but I'm sure that two people is gonna be better, the only one looking for the answer. And I just, I just believe in this, in this group, Forever Focus Group, because of that, because it have what other companies don't have it, that's why they break down because they don't trust, they don't help each other and I think it's super important because of what I tell you, community. Yes. Yes. And wow. also, Epic does have a charity, by the way, guys. I just wanted to yeah. say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm All Epic right. Kind of, yes. kind of took our charity idea, but I'm not mad. Josh, That's like right. a couple there's of more than enough out there for everybody. Huh? I said there's more than enough out there for everybody. That's true. That's true. No, it's so because... Forever Focus had originally said when we hit a certain number, we were going to go make a nonprofit and teach financial awareness to kids in like impoverished areas. That was something me and Josh particularly had like dreamed about doing for a while. And Epic's doing it now. Like, that's, <laughs> like, like oh, so they're, they're teaching. Oh, wow. They're going to be doing that. Yeah. I never knew you and Josh wanted to do that. For me, I just yeah. wanted to go to third world countries and actually rebuild like real estate in those countries. See, that's, that's, that's a solid one too. And I know that's close to like Jack yeah. and everyone help Mexico. Living yeah. in Haiti for two years, two to three years in Haiti, bro. It's crazy. Like sure. it's literally a monopoly in every other country. Like mm -hmm. America's the greatest, per the greatest place with monopolies, but every other third world country, even Mexico. Like the reason why Mex, like it's the cartel that runs Mexico. Why? Because they really, own mostly everything there gas stations all of that same thing with haiti it's like there's like two three people on the haitian islands that run everything and they're the ones that deal with the other governments and do deals and they're really selling everybody else for their own money like that's just mm -hmm. how hierarchy goes in third world countries hence why they need help you know um i would i appreciate this conversation because i was just talking to one of my friends and there are people that are literally starving here because of the condition. This is a tourist um, economy here. So because of the quarantine and the pandemic and the, and the virus, like this, this um, area in particular has been hit really hard. And I have a friend that I've been begging to, or like keep contacting that I want to help him with his charity. He goes around and delivers food and medical supplies to people. And he basically says he doesn't need any help. He has plenty of helpers. He just needs money so that he can get food for these people. And I wasn't in a position to do that. Um, and now I will be able to. And I'm just so, I just feel so blessed. And that's what it's about. Yeah. That's, about. Wow. that's the, the, the purpose of the why. If you have a why mm -hmm. and, the, and it's really a, a good one about love, it's going to happen. Is, is so strong love. Yes. I agree. Yes. Wow. Huh. I'm ready to sign up all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be part of the group. Just to be part of the group, you know? I'm excited to train. You know, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone else out there have anything to share? We might be, I don't know if the Zoom is going to be getting cut off in a moment. <laughs> does anyone else have anything out there to share? Any, mm -hmm. any team members want to say anything? Andre. 
Any questions? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, uh, you know, I just like to just say, uh, you know, I'm just like, you know, excited about working with everybody and, uh, and that, you know, <laughs> you know, I just have to just say it like this, the, 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 the you know, the money that I uh, live off of, Epic will never get a dime of it. And what I mean by that is that the $19.99 that I spent with Epic, that came from networking, you know, in, in another business, mm -hmm. if you get what I'm saying. Okay. okay. And, and, and from this point on, you know, I think everybody's goal is, is to, to, to get to a point to where, to where you never have to spend your own money in mm -hmm. Epic from this point on. Mm -hmm. When it comes, I mean, even when it comes to uh, our conventions and when it comes to traveling and when it comes to whatever expense uh, that we might have through the, in, in the journey of, uh, of this company, it should all come from the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm just excited, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, about what's going on. Uh, and, you know, I was asked, I think, I think I asked me a question the other day, uh, or, you know, she, she asked me, she said, well, what, what is your why? And I had, you know, sometimes I have to think about kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because my, my why uh, in, this, in this business is not really, you know, just making a lot of money or, or just for my livelihood. I, you know, I know how to take care of my livelihood with a, without kind of like anybody's help. You know, but 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 what my 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 goal in this business now is to encourage people, to to bless people, you know, to let my back be like a diving board. You know, when you know if you ever jumped off a diving board, you go to the to the end of the diving board and then it then you then you soar. So so that's my position. You know, uh, you know, with this team mm -hmm. or anybody that's in my presence, mm -hmm. you know, to have a strong enough back to where you can jump on my back and spring and go to where you need to go. You know, so, so that's kind of like, I agree. You know, that's kind of like, well, like somebody jumping on my back. I'll hold your hand and guide you. But I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, that's why I do them 100 push ups. <laughs> 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 There's a guy I was looking up online. He actually does 2,200 push-ups per day, bro. That's crazy. Ooh, that's yeah, gosh. he's a chef. He's a chef. He's a chef. Wow. Oh, he's too swole. There's swole and there's too swole. It's like, buddy, chill. <laughs> you, know, then, you know, then I just like to just say, you know, to, uh, you know, you know, just, just, you know, just make the best of uh, whatever situation you're in. Mm-hmm. You know, and you find yourself when things happen unexpected because unexpected things happen. You know, you know, don't go into a pity party or to, you know, saying why me or feel like it's something, you know, I've done, you know, because we all have control over our mind and, and over our actions. You know, and God has given us the power of change and, uh, and you could do it. Change, change, change could be done quickly. Change in our mind could be done quick, quicker than than lightning, you know, or, 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 or even the speed of life. It's up to us, you know, for what we want to get, for what we want to do out of life. So, if, you know, if you want to change, you know, change most of the time, it starts from the inside out, you know, and a lot of times it's kind of like losing weight. You know, you, you know, you, you, it, it's an inside job first and you can't see it, probably look like ain't nothing happening and you'd be right at the door where the change is about to show, and then you go back. And then you end up in a worse position than you were when you started. <laughs> you know, so be consistent. All right. You know, yeah. you know, and just be dedicated and, you know, and just, and, and let's lean on each other. And let's, you know, just, you know, let's do, do what you got to do. So I'm just here to, you know, to support in every, any way I can. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else have anything to share? Before we get going, yeah, yeah, I do this, Um, I, oh, sorry. Wait, Mike, sorry. We've got a couple. We've got a couple of moments only. That's okay. You go first. Oh, okay, thank you. 
Um, mm -hmm. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone, especially you, Mom, for putting this together. I'm Lexi if, um, or Alexis, whatever is easier for you guys. But yeah, I'm just super excited. Um, I'm really appreciative of all the support. I'm definitely going to be hitting a few of you guys up this week, definitely. Um, a little background about myself. I work in tech. Um, more specifically, I work for TikTok. And um, recently, I'm not sure if you guys like follow us in the news, but um, we were banned from our uh, by our current administration. And a lot of my coworkers, they're like freaking out about what they're going to do and all this stuff and I'm the only one who's just like oh no I'm, I'm fine like because I'm learning this new skill so I think that's really awesome that I'm um that I'm a part of something that's really bulletproof essentially so yeah thank you guys yeah, a lot of people share oh. with me awesome <laughs> Charles okay uh good afternoon good morning afternoon everyone um First of all, I just want to say that I'm glad that this meeting was able to be pulled off. Um, now, I've had some conversations this past couple of days with some of the leaders that's in this group. And uh, the one thing that I just wanted to stress more than anything is that whatever we do, we do it with transparency. Mm -hmm. And um, that, um, that goes a long ways in uh, network marketing. Um, it's two things that kills the organization faster than anything. Is no transparency and no communication. And uh, if you have those two, uh, you can continue to build strong groups and uh, strong relationships. Um, most of you, uh, I don't, I haven't met before or been on a Zoom with you, but um, the group that we're in over here, um, I've been doing most of the technical training because I'm probably one of the most experienced traders over here, and I've only been doing it a couple of months. But uh, when I first came into Tradera, my focus was not building a team. My focus was finally having a standalone product because I've also been uh, in network marketing for like over 30 years. And there's been some times where I've built some really good teams and, and made a bunch of money. And then there's been times that coming by people was very hard. So we, I finally found a product that, that I can consume and it didn't have an adverse effect on my health one way or the other. Um, but it had a definite adverse effect on my bank account. Uh, so far, it's been to the good, thank God. Um, I say all that just to say this, is that um, I'm glad that I'm here with a bunch of people that can actually take some of the pressure off of me trying to help get these new folks um, up in learning how to set up their charts and you know, understanding um, what the language is when it comes to um, Forex. Um, so I just want to say thanks for putting this all together really, really quickly. Uh, Nona, thanks for being the linchpin on setting a, a time frame for this to jump off because, you know, sometimes we just procrastinate and have ideas, but we don't put them into motion. And it was good that you actually set a time frame that you wanted this to happen because it made people motivated enough to uh, get busy and make it happen. So I'm already signed up, ready to go with Epic. Um, one of the things that I liked most about them before they left for Dara was their trading community. Um, I felt that it was very strong. The one thing that I found that I was lacking when I was in Tradera, because from day one, like I said, I went straight into trading. But what I found that I was lacking is there is only so much zone to zone trading that I can do. I wanted to know the why, you know. So um, I was going out, you know, looking at different strategies uh, with different traders on YouTube, you know, and trying to find out where I fit in in all of this, you know what I'm saying, and, and started building from there. And I have good days and I have bad days. But when I go back through my ledger of trades, I've made 67 trades. Now I've been profitable on 49 of them. Um, so, Good job, bro. Way to go. Yeah, yeah. So and that's your record you know, so it, far, overall? So far, overall. That's my record. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's around, it's around 74, 75%. You know, and the industry standard, they say you're doing good if you're at 51 to 55. So, uh, you, know, sure. you, you know, 
that just goes to show that if you just put your all into this, that you can do it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a clue the first live session I sat into, but I dove into the back office, studied as much as I could, and I'm on these charts learning every single day. And this is probably the first thing in a long time that I had a passion for. So mm. I'm pretty sure that if anybody else can find the passion to just lock in, stick with this, that they'll be profitable as well. Thanks. I have nothing else to say. Thank you guys for listening. Charles, Charles how long you said you've been doing yes. this? I've been doing this for two months. Look, guys, so I took 58 trades last, last month, right? And I lost 13. So I, got, I came out of last month 77.5%. I've been doing this for two years. He's been doing it for two months. Wow. Think about that. Think about the power. But at the same time, yeah. he has the right psychology, right? Yeah. So I want to go yeah. off one more thing that Andre was saying, guys. And like I was saying, guys, I, like I, I said, I keep a ledger. <laughs> so okay. I, can just, I can flip through here and just give you an idea of what, what I'm saying. The reds are my losses. I took more losses last week than I took the whole entire time that I've been, that I've been doing it. Good stuff. You see, guys, with yeah. even like even just being forty percent profitable, you can still be successful. I always tell this story. You could win forty percent out of a hundred trades. Every time you win that um one trade, you win a thousand dollars. Every time you lose, you lose two fifty. Right? Um, that's forty thousand minus fifteen thousand because two fifty times sixty is fifteen thousand, and that comes. You still come out. Of, you still come out winning twenty five thousand dollars. Right? So it's all on psychology. It's all on psychology and your resilience towards what you're doing and controlling your risk. So I wanted to add one more thing that Andre was saying. Um, guys, give yourself a chance to change. Mm. You have to give yourself time to change. Like you have to understand, like there is something called a pendulum that's happening in your life, right? Every time you change or every time you try to be positive, the pendulum starts swinging until it gets back to the certain level that you've been at your whole life. So if you've been negative and always thinking negative your whole life, this is where your pendulum is comfortable at, right? This is your middle ground. So whenever you go thinking positive, the pendulum starts swinging. And then this is when all the, while you're being positive and things is happening good in life, this is your pendulum swinging, trying to affect you so it could go back to normal. So you always have to fight against your subconscious, not really fight, but work against it in a patient way. Don't Say, F me, I don't know why the heck, no, don't do that. Love yourself, give yourself a chance to change. Give yourself that, give your subconscious that belief that you can change, right? You have to create that belief that you can before you actually do it, right? But you have to put yeah. that into your subconscious because it's your subconscious. They say our subconscious moves at 2 million bytes or something like that per second, whereas mm. if our conscious mind has a 20,000, 20,000 or frame, I think they said 20,000 20, frames per second. Whereas if the subconscious controls 2 point something um, million frames per second, right? So you have to see that your subconscious, the things that your parents, um, if your parents used to beat on you saying you were a liar, but you were telling the truth, if your parents used to, anything, anything that happened to you, if you got raped, anything that made you feel worthless as a person, that's what you are re- um, that's what you are fighting, that's what you're repairing, what you're healing, right? So you have to give yourself this time. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I truly do believe that um, trading is the spiritual way to make money. You can literally tap into something and pull money out just from sitting down and looking at some charts for like two hours, right? Some people 15 minutes, right? I feel like this is the one way to get out of the matrix. This is the one way to take control of your life, right? So I just wanted to say that. Give yourself time to change. That's the most important thing when it comes to trading. Or mm -hmm. anything in life. But yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this conversation has been <laughs> very long. This <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% agree. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. yeah we're with you. Me her. too. Yeah, Drop the mic. That was awesome. That yeah. was awesome. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I am going to have to hop off for a little bit because I, as I said, I'm still a teacher and I have a <laughs> lot of, I have progress reports due tomorrow and all this other kind of stuff. <laughs> I get those done. No, oh, that's really? good. No, we're wrapping it up, though. Thank you yeah. so much. Wait, wait, don't think yet because you're the one that's recording. So, oh, 
Okay. Yeah, just, yeah, guys, you're going to build your own school. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hire teachers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like man, you'll be a superintendent, man, where you ain't got to, you know. I like that. You have other people working for you, you know? Yeah. So, man, we got, we got to dream big. Out. You got to dream big, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. The world is a lot bigger than, than our reality because your reality is only what you experience. And then people die for their reality. I don't care if they're picking up cans. If that's all they're doing, if that's your reality, a person kill you over their can. You know? <laughs> so, so we're, you know, we, we have to expand. I mean, our minds, man. We, we part of the royal family. Man, we got God's spirit. Man, so we need to stop limiting ourselves. You know, and everything don't happen with faith. Everything don't happen, you know, you know, right there, you know, when, when, when you say it. What if things would happen when you just say it? Oh, I got a headache. I feel like I'm going to die. You would die right then. You know? <laughs> so things, things, we, things are happening. I mean, and we, we, we might not even be able to see it or feel it, but it's happening. God bless. Thank you. You. Thank you, Andre. I just want to say thank you to Curve and Justin and Leo for coming on and Ayana for putting this together. It's yes. such a joy to meet all of you. It's like I feel so blessed that we're all a part of the same team, and and I'm looking forward to a bright future with all of you guys. Every yeah. single one of you, we respect you for who you are, and because the the capacity to take a decision of change the way that you are. It's just, it's just evolution for me and, and I respect so much every single one for take that decision because I know how, how much value you have that basically. Oh, I feel it. Yes. All right. All right. Well, thanks team. Thanks so much. I appreciate each Thank and you. every one of you. I mean, yeah. Awesome call. And I think the team feels, I think they feel pretty good now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> ready to rock and roll. Yeah, now I can go, I have information to go with for my downline so that I can explain to them. They're pretty new coming aboard and I need to be able to have enough information to give them so they'll feel comfortable coming over with me. Gotcha. Okay, Nona, you can always contact one of us and we can jump, if we're, we're not available, we can find someone available to jump on that call with you. Okay. That's what we're here for. That's what we do. Okay. So you're not alone. Awesome. Your team's with Shadera? Yes. Oh, sh call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get one of us on, the, on that call, if not, if not more, more of us. Oh, all of us. I, all of us, yeah. I think I've got, I think I've got, um, so what I did, I took a picture of the phone numbers. Yeah, Curve, I've got you. I've got you guys. Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys have a blessed right. day. Thanks, you too. Thank you, Ayana. Thank you guys all for attending. All right. Thank, thank you. you, guys. I'll see you guys bye -bye. later. Have a good right. holiday. Bye-bye. Bye, Justin. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, Miss Elena. Bye, Elena. <laughs>